Okay, you guys, I just got up from a nap. I even still have frog voice. And I just, I don't know if this is going to make sense because this is at the beginning of the video. But you know how you worry and you worry and you worry about things and then they work out. They might not ever work out like you think they're going to, but it usually works out. And I think this whole process of getting my license again and having it threatened again after having lost it to my brain injury for so long and finally getting my license back, it just brought up a whole bunch of old emotions for me. And I am exhausted today after getting it resolved and I just wanted to say that I am so appreciative of Robert for walking through this process with me and of my trustee David for um, just doing the checklist, checklist, checklist of everything I always need to take care of and for looking out for me and for my friend Tiki for taking me, especially when you guys see what happened today. And for all of your support and seeing me through this and I came home and I crashed and you're about to see why and go through the video with me but I just wanted to say up front thank you and it's a lesson on feeling the fear and doing it anyway and having faith and putting one foot in front of the other and just trusting that when you do the right thing it all works out so here you go enjoy <music> way to the DMV. Tiki got up early and is taking me and we turned a corner and this guy was tailgating us and the policeman turned his lights on and we thought yes he's pulling that guy over and he actually pulled us over because Tiki got out of the guy's way and as we turned and anyway we she's not getting a ticket he understood and he laughed and but we're two blocks from the DMV it'd be all right Tiki <laughs> I'm back in the van and it's barely 10 o'clock and I already have my Arizona driver's license. I'm so happy and unfortunately Tiki got pulled over this morning. We had a guy that was like riding right on her bumper and so when we turned left she moved over to let him go around but unfortunately that meant that she didn't go left to left. She went left and over into the other lane just to get this guy off her tail and we're the ones that got stopped. But the officer, when he, he said he saw that and he was wondering, and then he laughed when we told him that we were headed to the DMV because we were only two blocks from there. So he only gave her a warning and he was very nice and we really appreciated that. You guys, I am so relieved to have that behind me. I'm so excited. I didn't even have to take the exam. The website says that I needed to, the manual says that I was supposed to, and they had told Tiki when she went by there earlier that I would need to, but the clerk didn't have me take an exam. She just looked at all my paperwork and my application and everything and gave me my license. And so I'm so relieved. I'm tired. I set my alarm for 5.30 this morning and got up and took the test again, the online sample test so that I could pass them. But I didn't need them, so it's all good. I have an Arizona driver's license now, and we had a great morning. And I'm going to take a nap now because I'm tired. I didn't sleep well last night. Thank you all so much for the encouragement. I just, I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful. Thanks, everyone. Love ya. See you down the road. Literally. <music> Celebration breakfast. Thank you, Tiki. You're welcome, my love. I'm so proud of you. 